Yeah, we talked to a number of people in this area, and there's really no telling how long the scene will be here. It's still closed all the way from Arapaho, just in front of me, uh, all the way down towards Larimer. Now, I want to show you right now this vehicle here. We talked to the man who owns this vehicle. You can see the glass shattered back there. He told us a bullet went through the back of that windshield and hit the front of his headrest. Witnesses tell us that this was a result of return gunfire. It was still light out when all of this happened. And this is a really popular area, so there were a lot of people who witnessed this. One man told us that he saw it all unfold, and he said it started as some type of confrontation between two people, with one man ended up getting shot in the head. Now, we also spoke with a woman who saw the entire thing unfold. She says that it was frightening, and she actually ran back towards her car. She ended up helping another stranger into her car to seek shelter. I seen uh, some guy walk up to another guy. I don't know what went on, but after a while, he started shooting. He shoots the guy who he was talking to in the head. After that, he starts shooting some more. We just saw this guy just start shooting. And, he, and we just saw a crowd just start running towards us. The lady jumped in my car because she was so afraid. We told her to stay right here. And then after he stopped shooting, he ran off somewhere. And then we, uh, went, I went down to try to see if I could help or anything. But it was the patrons that already came out to start helping the ones that were injured. We did talk to Denver police probably about a half hour ago. They said they only have very preliminary information, no suspect description, but we do know the suspect is at large. That's what they told us. They said four victims taken to the hospital, including the one person who was killed. But they said that there was also word of possibly a fifth victim, a woman who was shot in the leg. At this point in time, they said they have not been able to locate that person. So right now we are dealing with four, but possibly a fifth. Jamie Leary covering Colorado First.